Hi friend, one of the top video requests that I get is to review pieces from Everlane. And I think that's because they have a really good price point for the quality that you get. And all of their pieces seem to be great for basics that you can wear and have as a timeless item. And so with all of those factors, I do like to work with Everlane. And so when they reached out to me, I said yes, cause it's been a while. So thank you for Everlane sponsoring this video today. and. I'm gonna be showing you the pieces that I chose from the site that I thought were the greatest out of the whole collection for me. So let's get started. The first piece is the one that I'm wearing, which is the cotton merino cami. And the great thing about merino wool, if you haven't tried it this time of year, is that it doesn't hold any odors. And so some people, when they have merino wool, they don't even ever feel the need to wash it. That's how great it is at not having any odors, which, great for when you're sweating or anything else. So having a merino wool is not quite as warm as some other wools that you might choose for winter time. Um, I wear merino around October at the latest and I don't wear it really very much if it's a cold day beyond that. Uh, so for this, it's great because it has a very rich look to it with the ribbed texture. And it's in the color snowflake, which is kind of a funny name, but I do like that it's just a hint of ivory. I wouldn't call it white. It's just got a little bit of a color to it that makes it feel warmer on my skin. So I'm gonna have everything linked down below, but the next piece that I wanna share are actually these trousers that I'm wearing. They are so slouchy and drapey. They're lovely, they have a great great cut, texture, and color. I love that it has this like somewhere between a green and a brown, um, which I like to add to my wardrobe and you're gonna be seeing a little bit of more of that color today. Um, but then having them in linen makes them so easy to wear this time of year. I know I'll be wearing them into fall as well, so I don't have to store them away, you know, end of summer or anything like that. And I think just because I have like an 11 inch difference between my waist and my hips, finding a trouser, especially if there's a pleat involved, is very difficult to find. So I am so pleasantly surprised by how well these fit. And I know I'm just gonna be sitting in them all day and like all summer, all fall, I'm gonna definitely be showing you these again. The next piece that I ordered is made from the same material as the cami. It's the cotton merino blend. And this front tie is something that I felt was very flirty and something that I've seen other brands do. And so I was really intrigued to find an Everlane one that just felt smart and sophisticated. And so it would be great for a date night if you're looking for a piece like that. It also is placed just specifically to where it's bra friendly. So if you're concerned about that, then that's solved. Um, a lot of these tops usually aren't bra friendly, so that's something to consider. Um, I would personally just wear like uh, nippies by Bristol Six with this, and I know that that would look great. In keeping with the idea of always having a little bit of a ribbed texture to these tanks, this one does that as well. It's the Pima micro rib uh, tank, and I like that it's much higher on the neck. So that's the other way that I really like to wear tanks, either having something where I can display a necklace or else having something where I can wear it very casually, have it up on the neck, and then I could layer with this very well. Um, so I could put a blazer on with this or just wear it by itself would be fine too. I like having a very thin stripe for this option since it's such a small shirt. It doesn't overwhelm it or make it look like it's clashing with my proportions. And this also is going to just look beautiful with showing off shoulders if you want to um, and highlighting that area. For a dress, I thought this was the perfect one. I used to have a dress like this years and years ago and I definitely wanted to add it back to my wardrobe in this beautiful color. So this is the same color as my pants, it's the beach color, and I love that so much. Um, what's great about the way they designed this is that it would be very flexible on top and stretchy with a knit material, and then for the bottom half, it's all woven, so it's very breathable yet billowy, and it isn't quite as stretchy as the top. So that's really great because I want this to be tight fitting up top, and then having the ability to have lots of airflow and all that down below. It also comes with pockets, so if you ever just wanna like use that, um, because it's fun to use pockets, but also like I like the ability to sort of play and sway my dress around.
around, um, <laughs> then that's really fun too. <laughs> One purchase that I made that I am so happy with are these denim shorts. Now, a few videos back, I was kind of hitting on how denim shorts aren't that practical for this time of year. I think a lot of people just think, oh, I need a denim short for summertime um, without considering all other options. But one denim short that I actually found that is absolutely the perfect fit, the most flattering denim short I've ever tried, ever, have been these ones from um, Everlane that are the A-line short. They sell out so fast too. So if there's a color that you like, just keep refreshing the page or revisit it um, within a day or two. I have found success in building my wardrobe with them. So I have like three colors now. Um, I've got a black pair on the way because they are that good. So I have this one, which is in this very medium blue with a cutoff at the bottom. Um, I love it because it's true to its name. It is an A-line. So it starts narrow. It doesn't like <laughs> tulip out or anything, it's just straight down and there's lots of room in the leg which is so beautiful and flattering and I just feel so confident in it, I could wear them all day long. So I have them in this color and then as well as this pinstripe and I have them in a lighter shade as well. One note of reference about sizing, I sized down one size, I could have even sized down two, but one great way to be able to tell your size that you want is on their website, if you look at the toggle between the size that they recommend and then the way that you can look at the garment measure measurements, then click on that and compare them to your own measurements and that will be a sure way that you always get the right size. Another linen piece that I loved to find was this linen relaxed shirt, something that looks like it's just very lived in, like I could just throw it on and it looks like something that's been in my closet for years because it feels a little bit worn. The texture inside it looks like it has these little tiny flecks of something, which is really charming. And I like having that blue and white pinstripe. It's very like coastal to me. And so when thinking through it like that, there's a lot of ways that I can already imagine wearing this. And I think I think it would be so good if you have either a desk job or you're going to be at your desk like sitting at your house then this would be something where it's not too stiff or cumbersome and yet it still looks very sophisticated. I would like to also like just roll up the sleeves a little bit, make it look like it's open and comfortable but like you're going to work hard at the same time. This next top is a bit more formal for those times where you want to look wonderful like at a brunch or something like that. The material has a little bit of a crepe look to it, which is really charming. The neck is gathered here with this fabric, and then there is no seam for the shoulder. It just goes straight down. So what that does is, if you are wearing it and you wanna minimize the appearance of your shoulders for that outfit, then this will do that. But it still has lots of real estate because of the billowing nature of the top. And then that vertical stripe is another lengthening thing. So if you want to lengthen your top half, that will do that. Um, all together, I really liked the color. This is a very muted version of the color that I love to add this time of year. Having these small like mossy green notes to it is lovely. And then it's paired with the ivory. So one thing that you might be seeing a pattern of is not only that green color, but the stripe. I feel like those are wonderful and timeless additions to my wardrobe. If you feel like you like an academia style, a preppy style, menswear style, like any of these little categories um, are gonna be wonderful if you wanna wear a polo. Now for this one in particular, the crochet knit is going to look so much more high end. And so that's lovely as well. What's great about this too is that I could wear them with trousers or I could wear them with jeans um, or with any of those shorts. And it is something where I still feel warm enough because a lot of times, honestly, I get very cold with air conditioning and all that, yet this is so loosely knit that it's very breathable and it doesn't feel like it's a sweltering material by any means. Next is the billow cami. This is wonderful if you love having that more like cottage feeling. Um, this has that feeling of just nostalgia for picnics in the park and that sort of thing. I like that it has this neckline that is very like straight across, um, more of a square neckline. And then it has this nice detail of having this double strap 
along here. So that is very like beautiful and feminine. It'll show off your shoulders, your collarbone. Um, this also will look great with anything that's high-waisted because then you can just tuck that in and it has a really beautiful proportion there. Um, it also has the tiniest little button in the back, which is a very adorable addition, yet it doesn't feel like something that isn't sophisticated enough um, to be both adorable and sophisticated. I also like the color having a little bit more of a deep blue. Um, that is another color that I love to add. It's almost a navy. I guess I could qualify it as a navy, but it's not quite. It's more like a royal blue. The final piece is a jumpsuit because you know this wouldn't be a Dearly Bethany video without a jumpsuit. Um, I love this linen picnic dress. Obviously the linen fabric is going to be breathable, so when wearing pants it's not going to be a big deal. It also is a little bit cropped up on the bottom and on the back side it has an elastic waist back here and because these are buttoned in, these straps, then you can adjust them as well. So no real worries there. I also just love the color and the pinstripe on here because this looks straight out of the old photos I have from my family like you know on Coney Island and they're taking photos and all this like on the beach like a hundred years ago it's such a timeless and like retro feel to it and you also have this uh, belt with it that you can just tie and cinch the waist if you want to but you don't have to so this is absolutely lovely I love these like tortoise shell um, little buttons here that go down it as well. So this was so lovely to wear and I know this is a piece I could just live in. Anytime that you wanna wear like a casual dress, this would be a wonderful other option. Okay, so I would love to hear which piece was your favorite and if you're buying any of these, then let me know in the comments down below. I really would just love to be able to connect with you in the comments. I read every single one of your comments and they mean the absolute world to me. I also wanna thank Everlane for sponsoring this and if you are interested in watching the next video, I would recommend the one I did recently where I'm showing the different trends to avoid for the latest season if you have short legs like me. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.